The images are shocking. This morning we're looking at a potential threat to the water supply for thousands of people living near Lake Erie. In recent years, we've watched what's known as a harmful algae bloom grow in the lake, and teams have been tracking this year's bloom. 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith is live in Monroe this morning, which is close to where that algae bloom is right now. Hey, Matt. Hey there, Anu. In fact, uh, it's not too far away from here, just several miles back. Yesterday, we had a chance to go up in an aircraft and take a look at it, and we saw that telltale sign, that green sludge and slime. Uh, right now, though, we're seeing good, clear drinking water here near the beach area in Monroe, but the problem is, is that in just a matter of days or a matter of weeks, we expect to start seeing this in some spots of Lake Erie turn to that green sludge that we know is a concern for a variety of reasons. Most importantly, it can be toxic. It's important to note, more than 3 million people actually get their drinking water from this lake. Aboard this small plane, my photographer and I are preparing for NOAA's weekly flight above Lake Erie. Once in the air, it's a 20 minute trip from Ann Arbor to the recognizable site of the Fermi plant in Monroe. What's not so recognizable to us? The green algal bloom that already carpets the lake. You know, this is pretty, fairly mild. That's Zach Haslick behind the controls. This is a five plus mile wide bloom. As boats cut through it, it leaves gaps, highlighting the bloom itself. How do you it's, wrap your head around this? It's striking. I mean, it's kind of like telling someone the difference between a billion and a trillion. It's like, oh, okay, that's a really even bigger number, but I don't really visualize how big a billion is. The work up here is important. It gives researchers hyperspectral imaging like this. There's details here that you can't get from traditional satellite images. They don't get the detail. And details are important. This thing grows and shifts. This is what the harmful algal bloom, or HAB, looked like late in the 2017 season. And in 2014, it got even worse. The toxicity caused issues and forced water managers to shut down drinking supplies. It's not only the temperature, but it's also the wind effects and the nutrient runoff. Andrea Vanderwood is one of the many researchers working to track the HAB in Lake Erie. That work can alert water managers, people visiting beaches, or even boaters when conditions are bad and how to avoid them. To see that dramatic change every week is amazing. So it changes on the hour, you know, depending on wind conditions or how the sun is, how bright the sun is that day and how warm the water is. This time we find plenty of fresh water. A hopeful sign plans being implemented on the ground are working. And a reminder that while trying to prevent this, we also need to learn how to work around it until that's a reality. Researchers with NOAA, specifically the Great Lakes Research Environmental Lab, are making great strides on this. They've been working a lot with farmers trying to cut back on fertilizers, which actually fuel this harmful algal bloom, or HAB. But more importantly right now for a lot of us is just that they're working on forecasting tools, including a five-day tracker that allows people like us to go online, take a look at it, and know where they can still go without having to see that green sludge and still enjoy Lake Erie for all that it's worth. We'll share that with you over at WXYZ.com so you can check it out before you head to the lake if you're heading out this weekend. For now, we're live in Monroe. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News. Thank you very much. I mean, that's obviously very important because that's where so many people get their drinking water in Monroe, Lenawee County, and parts of Ohio. Yeah, to see that perspective, just incredible. Thank you, Matthew.